made you start Hike when there are already so many messenger apps in the market like WhatsApp? Sure, so I think, you know, no doubt WhatsApp is the clear number one in the market. And uh, we believe that in India there's a large sort of messaging sort of fragmentation problem. In tier one, tier two, th three cities, you have friends who have, you know, the early guys, early adopter guys who have smartphones and data plans, but their friends don't. As a result, you're stuck at a point where you're messaging people on SMS, and SMS is still very dull. There's been no emission in SMS for the last decade. Whereas the guys who can afford data packs and, and data plans can do, you know, the rich messaging and everything else that you can do on uh, services like WhatsApp. The idea was how do you bridge this gap? How do you ensure that uh, you build a seamless messaging service for a market where messaging is so fragmented? That was the fundamental idea behind Hike. When we launched Hike in December, what we realized was not only was this a problem, but people are looking for a much richer form of communication on the internet too. Uh, with you know, with the data and internet, you can do so much more than simple text and photos, like stickers that we launched a couple of months back that are doing really well for us. So that was the idea behind Hike. Um, today, we're um, you know, we launched Hike back in December last year. Uh, within five months, within four months, we crossed five million users. Uh, we are amongst the fastest growing startups globally. Uh, today, the number is far larger, and we hope to announce some big milestones very soon in the near future. But that's the fundamental idea behind why we launched Hike. Why India? Why did you choose to launch this product in India? So, um, well, India has a close place in my heart. Uh, you know, it's, it's home as well. But apart from that, there's a very large opportunity in India. There's a billion two people here in the market. And uh, the internet penetration is still very early. And given the diversity, diversity in the market post the sort of metros, uh, there's a large opportunity for an Indian player to come build some phenomenal products for this market. That's why I'm back home and that's why we launched PSP. Also, Kavan, what do you think of the data usage uh, pattern or the trend in India? Because we see operators still selling wall wallpapers and ringtones for a fee when people can actually download this for free on the internet. I think, um, you know, market always evolves. If you look at the, the West Coast, uh, at and you know, if you look at um, Verizon, all these guys, you had this phase about seven, eight years ago back in the US as well. So um, emerging markets like India, which is a very large speaking, in English speaking population, follows Western trends. So uh, that's going to change as in when you have more smartphones in the market, as in when people get you know more educated about the internet, you'll see people discovering more sources for this content. And um, you know we're, we can see from the data usage that the people that are using data, that are switched on, are using data a lot. And that's increasing every year by two, three X. But we still have a fundamental problem where there's a lot of folks who've never witnessed the PC revolution, the, the, the broadband revolution, uh, that have no clue as to what the internet even means. And getting them online is very tricky. So we hope that people, you know, companies like BSP, amongst other people in the ecosystem, are responsible for bringing those guys online. That's the idea that we have for this market. Do you think Bharti SoftBank will revolutionize mobile web in India? So we hope to be one of the players to go do that. Uh, we, you know, we're building uh, some great products in the market that are designed very well, very, very simply for the market. And we hope to be one of the players that's responsible for pushing the ecosystem forward. And uh, no, doubt, no doubt that apps are here to stay. Um, as smartphones increase, you'll see more and more people building apps. Um, of course, you have fundamental infrastructural problems like uh, networks and monetization, but uh, it's a matter of time. It's not an if, but it's a when. And uh, if you have a long enough vision, and if you have um, a you know capital to back that long-term vision, um, you're in a good position in India. Kevin, what is your favorite gadget? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I have too many gadgets. <laughs> So I recently played with the Google Glass back in uh, you know uh, San Francisco when I was there, and uh, I can see the potential of that device. It's phenomenal. Uh, you know I don't have one right now. Hope to get one very soon. But um, it's interesting where technology is going, and. Um, we're at a point in time where we're making the shift from smartphones to wearable technology. So I'm really looking forward towards uh, devices like the Jawbone that I have in my hand to track my health and you know my my workouts and everything else uh, become more pervasive and much more you know a bigger part of our daily lives. So I keep an eye out for all this stuff because it, it really interests me. So uh, I won't say there's one sort of big gadget, but I have 10, 20 gadgets that I use every day that I love, and uh, I'm a bit of a gadget freak. But you know I, I think that's the way it is. Yeah. What would your advice be to the young entrepreneurs? You know, think big but start small. It's very, very important to have very, very big visions. And not just because of the opportunity, but because the probability of success in our, you know, in our sort of area of, uh, of work is very low. It's less than a percent. So the, so the likelihood of you failing is very high. Now, that doesn't mean you will fail, but if you do end up failing, uh, you will learn a lot more from the year to year spending and tackling a bigger problem than a small problem. 
Um, and um, yeah, think big, think big, start small is, is the mantra that we use at BSB too. We have very grand visions for this market, but the idea is we've chosen to incubate three, four very small companies with very low cost uh, to figure out whether the market's ready, whether these products are working or not, uh, based on which we'll build the fundamental. Uh, so. So that's what you know. I personally advise um, young entrepreneurs. Also, it's very important to be passionate about what you do. Um, there's a lot of there are a lot more downs and ups in the early stages of building a product. So you have to have you know perseverance, tenacity, uh, and you have to fundamentally care about what you're doing. If you don't care about what you're doing, you'll end up shipping a lousy product, and your company's going to go down the drain. So passion is very very important. Uh, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. Thank you, Kevin. That was great. Thank you so much for your time.